what up y'all it's lt here back with another video happy friday you guys um i have not done a parents who regret having kids story in a probably over a week or so but i wanted to go ahead and get this video uploaded for you today happy friday i hope you guys are doing amazingly well um yeah i want to go ahead and just read you guys a story for a reddit posting that i saw a couple days ago and i wanted to uh, get you guys feedback on it so it's going to be describing a uh, a dad who actually regrets his adult children and um, it's going to be a very interesting story and i'm gonna go ahead and read it to you guys and uh just you know like normal comment down below let me know uh before we get started um i actually just came back in town a couple days ago uh, i went to atlanta with some family and just it was just one of those trips that we wanted to get away i don't think i've really been anywhere this whole year so far and it was just it was nice to just just get up and go and book it and um actually I went, I went with my sister and also her um her husband so it was the three of us that went we had a good time um it was just nice to go and just uh sightsee the city a little bit and just um get out of florida for a few days so <laughs> so we went there uh we sightsee the city we saw a couple, couple friends and stuff while we were out there so it was really really nice now one thing i will say I love staying in the South, but when I went to Atlanta, I haven't been to Atlanta in probably over 10 years, but when I, when I went, it was just the, the atmosphere and the vibe was just so different. Like the people were so nice, so kind. Like it was just, it was so great. Oh, the food was amazing. <laughs> I think if I actually stayed in Atlanta, I probably would gain a whole bunch of weight because all I want to do all day is eat. Like the food there is so incredible too. Um, also with New Orleans as well. New Orleans has amazing food, but with Atlanta, it's just that that southern deep fry cooking <laughs> is very addicting. Um, but yeah, I was just only there for a few days and um, it was really a great time. So I'm so happy that I went. It was my sister and her husband's anniversary too. So I was really happy that I was able to still go with them because like, you know, especially during their anniversary, I was like, you know, kind of surprised they invited me too. But, you know, I, I thanked them because I, I, you know, that they went out to dinner and stuff like that too. So I went ahead and, and paid for their dinner. But as a thank you for um, allowing me to come with them to Atlanta. But um, but yeah, I wanted to just, just treat them like that too. But I'm really glad that I went and I had a good time. I'm still a little, a little under the weather, you guys. So please bear, bear with my voice a little bit. Um, it may go uh, in and out a little bit when I read the story. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, I think the weather change also kind of got my voice acting funny. And plus I'm kind of like nasally a little bit. So I had a really bad stuffy nose the past couple of days. So please bear with me if my voice sounds a little bit, a little off. Um, I'm just getting over a cold. So hopefully... Um, Hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna rest this weekend, so hopefully I will feel better by next week. But um, I wanted to go ahead and upload this video for you and just give me your feedback on it and um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So again, the title of the story is called "I Hate My Grown Kids," and I'll put the link for the story. If I could find the link, I don't think I have a copy of it. If not, then I'll just I'll copy and paste the whole description of the story into the description box, and then that way you can read it yourself if you want to. So. Shout out to the Chaffrey gang and thank you once again for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Okay, again, the title of the story is called I Hate My Grown Kids. Now that my kids are older and I regret having them, they have grown up to be horrible people. I have five kids, three are grown and they are terrible. They literally have no friends and none of their family like them on both sides. The two older ones are my stepkids but their biological family can't stand them either. I do blame myself for getting with a woman who already had kids and having my own as well. Everything was amazing in the beginning, but when I saw her, her true colors show years later, it was already too late. I thought, hey, I'm gonna be here for the kids because even though she's a terrible person, my kids won't turn out to be that way. Boy, was I wrong. Just as, just as an example, my oldest stepkid has had two abortions at the age of 21 after having a kid, and my third oldest, who's biological, had to go to court Wednesday for a domestic violence charge because she thinks it's okay to slap her boyfriend. Of course, my wife treats them like she's their best friend, calling their boyfriends, going to clubs with them all the time and acting like the kids are not at fault and it's, it's everybody else's. Had I known that having kids would be such a problem, I would have never had them or gone with a woman who already had kids. Okay, uh, just a couple of things I wanted to give my opinions on. Um, first and foremost, he's absolutely right on that last sentence. I believe those of you who are new to my channel, um, you know, I wanted to also just pinpoint this. I truly believe that whether you are a child free or if you are a childless person, you don't need to begin with nobody who has kids. So that was his fault. Number one, he got with a woman who already had kids. He had a total of five kids and he says, um, I have five kids, three are grown. They're terrible. So, um, but yeah, so he should have never gotten with a woman who had kids in the first place. Uh, that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, these 
these older kids who are acting up right now, he really needs to have a sit down conversation with them. I don't know if the kids are living with them. My guess is probably yes. They sound like they're very young. Uh, they probably don't need to be out and about right now, but I would definitely be setting some rules with them if they're staying with my in my house. Because one thing about me is that you are not going to make my household hell to come to, especially if you are a grown ass person. I'm not going to handle I'm not going to deal with that. I'm not. So you can either um, you need to talk to your kids and especially talking to the, to the wife. Like, why is your wife calling these uh, calling the kids boyfriends and trying to hang out with them and all that type of shit? Like she needs to have several seats, too. Like she doesn't need to be doing that. Like, why are you trying to go out to the clubs with them and all that kind of stuff? Like, lady, what are you doing? <laughs> You're way too old for that. Your kids are all grown. So that's something that um, you definitely need to have a conversation with the wife about and tell her tell her to have several seats and that she needs to not try to hang out with a bunch of 20 something so at the end of the day she doesn't have nothing absolutely nothing in common with them so um yeah i, I personally would talk to the older kids and see what and just act, just ask them why they're freaking acting up like this because first and foremost the 21 year old who is uh, getting pregnant and having an abortion, she needs to have several seats too. I would definitely talk to her and be like, look, if you get pregnant one more time, you're getting up out of my house. Cause you already have one baby and I'm assuming she's not married. So you, you already have one kid already. And I'm assuming she's probably living with y'all. So she's not contributing anything as far as financially to the households. If none of the kids are contributing besides the two youngest ones, if they're not, they're, they're still uh, minors, the older kids definitely need to, be, need to be contributing something to the household. So they need to be working, uh, contributing something to the rent or the mortgage or something because if they're not doing nothing, they're living up in that house rent free. No, you gotta get up out of here. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. You're not gonna stay in my house where I have to deal with your drama and you gotta be, you're getting arrested, you're getting pregnant and abortions, all this kind of stuff. This, that, that is something that would not fly in my house. And I definitely will be talking to the kids about that because that is just, that's a pain in the butt to be dealing with. Who wants to come to all that freaking chaos? And the mom needs to be having several seats, like I said, because why is she trying to hang out with a whole bunch of 20 somethings to go into, going to clubs and all that kind of stuff? There's other things that she can do to hang out with her kids, but going to the clubs and then calling their boyfriends, what is wrong with her? <laughs> I, I definitely will be having a conversation with her as well. Don't be calling my man for nothing. So, uh, yeah, he definitely needs to have some more sh uh, control and structure in his house. I'm guessing um, the kids probably still uh, all live with them. Um, that's my guess. If not, then um, they definitely need to have a conversation to see what's going on in the household and just get some get some better structure in there. So that's my two cents on the situation. Uh, what would you guys do in, the, in this dad situation? Uh, would you guys talk to the older kids? Uh, would you just keep the kids out if they were staying with you if they were having that kind of issues? What would you guys do? Just let me know down in the comment section Shout out to the child free gang. Thank you guys once again for watching my video for today If you like child free content like this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell So you know exactly when I upload if you want to be featured on my channel for a child free interview Please make sure that you send me an email at childfreeblackwoman at yahoo.com We'll set up a zoom meeting and we'll go ahead and get that interview taken care of so uh, Shout out once again to the child free fam. I'm so thankful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for getting me to over 2,000 subscribers on my channel. I do appreciate all of your love and support. And also follow me on IG. Follow me on Child Free BW. That's my IG handle. So make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram and um, enjoy the Child Free fam. So thank you guys once again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye, guys.